Okay, this is the second take on this video. This is the light body reading and the angelic messages for the week ahead. Um, I wanted to do a quick update. I spent the last month uh, finalizing production and republishing all of my books and all of my Oracle decks. And I all finalized uh, my most recent book, which is the little book of many magical and miraculous meditations. They're transcriptions from the Enzo Academy material. I spent a lot of time uh, editing and rewriting everything uh, to put it in a book format. And um, <clears throat> it's actually a really great introduction to the Enzo Academy. It's a great way to sit with the meditations, the processes that we utilize in there to help you to begin this process of uh, mastering your energy. So there's all sorts of meditations in there. There's uh, ray meditations, the seven rays. There's meditations with uh, violet flame, white fire, blue flame. Um, there's skywalking ceremonies, etc. And you can sit with them and take your time and really engage. The Enzo Academy is a more immersive experience where you have the sound. I'm talking to you, so I'm not only guiding you through it while you're relaxing, but you're also, I'm pulling you up in frequency as I'm working with you in the academy as well. So um, I published the Enzo Technique Guidebook. So this is a guidebook on the yogic martial arts that's part of the Enzo Academy that my husband and I put together. He's a martial artist, so it was the yogic martial arts. And we go through and tune and clear and harmonize your field with these movements. It could It's similar to something like Tai Chi or Qigong, but completely different. But it would be in that type of category, okay? It's something you can do every single day to keep your field clear as well as work with a physical body. It helps with embodiment of higher frequencies as well, okay? So the guidebooks there, you can read that without being in the academy. I made it public. However, I would recommend you use it with the video classes in the academy. It's going to make a lot more sense. Uh, I did the Soul Physician's Guide to Opal Quantum Healing. This book is a introduction to quantum healing. It goes over some fundamental uh, ideas, concepts, quantum realities that help you to understand how this work works. So if you're an energy healer or you're just curious, they, this may be helpful for you as well. Okay. Um, and then I have the Spiritual Alchemy Star Crafting book have been shifted into a different platform as well as the Aura of God. And then the Luminous book, which is the first book I wrote, and it is a, a divine oracle book. So it's like a deck only. There's a sacred geometry and inspiring messages throughout it that you can use as an oracle if you'd like or just a daily guidebook to say, what can I work on today? Look into that. So I've been working hours and hours and hours every day to get all this completed and so we're good to go so I can start working on the Jedi path and I'm going to go into more detail about what this is. It is a um, advanced path so you have to move through the Enzo Academy to work on the self-mastery, the self-discipline, the alignment, the harmonic and once you get to that space where you understand your field and can control and master your own energy, mental, emotional, physical, spiritual, then you can begin to work with a um, Jedi path, okay? And this is for those that really wanna focus their consciousness on creative intelligence and utilizing advanced consciousness in the 3D reality as an actual technology. That's what we're working towards with that, okay? So really uh, refining and activating our advanced abilities in a completely different way, working with the elements, etc. So those are the updates. That's what I'll be working on more so. So I'll be doing one video a week. Um, and I really, I know my channel is very small, but I know you guys that resonate with my messages. I really appreciate you being here and supporting us and those that are in the academy, especially 
Um, it's allowing both uh, my husband and I specifically to continue to pro progress and evolve and um, doing the spiritual work that we need to do to complete our missions. We have a lot to do still. So um, I appreciate you guys taking the, the time to watch these. And I also wanted to let you know that if you guys have any questions about the analysis work, about um, anything that's going on with the inversion or, or my philosophies, the, the cosmic map, etc., please leave your questions in the comments or you can even email me if you don't want them to be public um, and, and I can address them in a more um, passive way in that in that capacity but any questions you have please feel free to ask um, okay so now let's get into the reading I did this once I'm trying to not go too much into what I said before because I'm gonna have to re-pull cards but um, I did want to go over the analysis that I was shown because it's for someone and is pretty particular and the reading was very accurate. So uh, this is a 60 being frequency is at 13 kilohertz, 13,000 kilohertz, sorry, not 13, um, 13,000 kilohertz, 60, rounding in the 60 core. I saw one block here. Heart, golden heart field, golden heart is distorted, earth stars distorted, connection to the 60 uh, core is distorted. And the primary, primary, primary issue, distortion here, is that um, there's an inner conflict with uh, this change. There's a resistance to a change, and it is... So what happens higher, upper 5D into lower 60, it's kind of like 4D, 5D, where you're kind of back and forth a little bit and it's not super stable. So that's what I'm seeing here, but this person's at a deadlock. Uh, they're unable to really move into the 60 or go back into the 5D. And because of that, there could be some stagnation felt and not a lot of movement. So there is a need to surrender to divine will, to your divine self, and come into alignment with that within yourself to release control. Because the reason why this is happening is there's fear there, fear of change, fear of evolution. And so they're more comfortable in the lower realms, but they literally cannot go back there. That, that door is closed. You cannot go back to that reality. You have to continue evolving is is what's coming on so because coming through so because of this deadlock um nothing's happening okay the door behind you is closed the door in front of you is open you have to move forward okay that is the primary message there um and then there was this um feelings of insecurity fear limiting new possibilities choosing to remain safe at the expense of awakening and growth, lack of confidence. You awaken your own dreams and possibilities. Free yourself from the illusion of safety as you enter into the manifestation of emerging possibility. So with any change, you're going to feel unsure. You're going to feel like maybe it's not safe. Okay. So we need to understand that's just part of the path. Okay, you need to take the leap of faith, take the step forward, allow yourself to grow and expand. Okay, and so again, this is the Mayan Oracle. <clears throat> this is a great book if you're working with shadow stuff because it gives you the remedy, the cause and the remedy. Okay, so let's go into the angelic reading. And when I did this before, it completely aligned. So we'll see what happens now. <clears throat> Because there's a reason I had to redo it. So, there's a lot of different densities coming through. So, whoever this resonates with, there's, there's 13D, there's 8D, there's 5D. Uh, the last reading, there was 4D, 10D, um, and then the rainbow body. 
and there's the earth soul birth. So what I think you guys that resonate with the 60 light body have that activated. You came here. Your purpose was to complete the spiritual evolutionary process to activate the rainbow body and to graduate into cosmic consciousness. Okay. Um, and you birthed into the earth plane as a 5D being. So your graduation is going to be up to 8D in uh, space time. And then you will expand into cosmic consciousness. Okay. So this is just something to look forward to instead of resisting the changes. And that could be where the fear is coming from as well, because when we have that dramatic of a shift at a soul level, it can be scary. Um, Cosmic Angel 90 Electric. So I'm really getting with this. There's a lot of support around you, a lot of help, um, a, a lot of angelic help from the celestial realms, from celestial beings, from angelic beings, from the heavenly. And um, they're here to help inspire you, to motivate you, and to move you forward. So it's like the electric energy was just complete inspiration. Okay, so that's why this is coming through. <clears throat> Twin Flame, this came through in the reading I did before as well. Diamond Heart. So... What I'm getting with this, so this is different than the reading I did before, is the twin flame is actually not incarnated here. So there is a being that is <clears throat> resonant with you at a soul level, an ancient level, that is on the other side of the veil that is activating the diamond heart within you, which the diamond heart activates at the AT level. So this being could have already activated that, come to earth, went through the whole process. So they're actually supporting you on this path, helping you to uh, attain that, okay? Okay, so this is similar to what I got before. So there is some dense energy in the fields that needs to be cleared, uh, and that's going to be happening through from now until January. So. What you're being asked to do is do the work on your light body, energy healing, sitting with those higher frequencies. Um, and allowing them to shake loose any of the, this dense energy because you're going to need to clear that out. Um, there could be a DNA mutation here. Let me see what this is. Now these are coming out. I'm saying before. From now till January, you're going to be working towards training for the rainbow body. And that's what we're doing in the, the Jedi path is we're, uh, once people are at that level, we can refine the rainbow body uh, frequencies and begin working with those, the higher levels of consciousness to move into a more uh, embodied uh, advanced state. But for you guys, from now until January, so October to January, you're going to be wanting to work with the 70 energies training for the rainbow body activation. Okay. So in the academy, this will make sense. If you're not in the academy, it may not make much sense, but uh, 70 frequencies are gold, uh, golden light. Christ consciousness. So those are the energies that you work with as you're training to move into the 8D. So October to January, you're going to be working with that, clearing out any density in, in the 60 body, 70 body. Uh, the Merkara, I've seen a collective mutation in the Merkara for some of you guys. Um, and this is an ancient wounding. So you may need to do work with the Merkara to get that healed if that's there. Uh, the one that I've been shown for a large collective of people was incurred at a 70 level. There was soul theft and the Merkara corrupted. Okay. So I've been working on healing that for a long time. So that a lot of you guys could resonate with that. It could be something different. You mean, no, you know, obviously just go with your intuition now. Okay. 
there was a need to wait. Um, there's a DNA activation happening in February. Uh, so, okay. What happens when you're shifting densities quickly or at all really is the reality that you were living in before those people, situations, experiences start dissolving, um, as you evolve. Okay. And it's not like they disappear. They just disappear out of your experience. Okay. And so you want to stay away from, uh, any sort of contractual agreements or rigid thinking paths, et cetera, right now, because you're going through this evolution the next few months to a year, I would say, we're seeing February before it was March. Um, so until you've really grounded in the new space, you want to stay away from making any sort of really, uh, harsh or rigid contractual agreements, okay, uh, to make sure that what you anchor into is resonant with you at the next phase, okay. So a lot of times this happens as well when we're shifting densities and realities or octaves is old people situations will dissolve, they'll fall away because they aren't resonating with where you're going. Okay, so the, those cords kind of start to dissolve and break away and you don't want to build stronger links there because it makes evolution harder. Um, so just the, way, the best way to perceive it <clears throat> is to be in flow. Allow things to move as it needs to and not to get too attached to anything emotionally or mentally. Um, so you're walking through a reality aware of the impermanence of all of it okay and that that's the best way to perceive that okay let me see if there's anything else here So there's some uh, guilt, grief uh, from moving on from the past. Uh, and so, <clears throat> let me see, this could be the dent, just the dense energy or the blockage that we're seeing. Yeah, they're saying to just let that go. That was the death card. It's an ending. And we got that with uh, this here. So resurrection. So when you're moving density, that you you literally have to grieve the old reality as you move on to a new. You have to say, okay, I'm not living that. I'm not that person anymore. And there is a grieving process there. They're saying to do that, to go, allow yourself to go through that. But this is actually blocking you from receiving the things that could be coming to you. Abundance and equality. Okay. So, um, let's see. The primary focus right now is strength in moving forward. Don't allow yourself to get pulled back. Self-love, and this is empathetic self-love, not narcissistic. And there's a huge difference. So empathetic self-love is when you realize that you're giving so much that there's nothing left, okay? Um, it's not getting your nails done and, you know, you can do that as well, but it's like literally giving yourself what you need uh, at an energetic, emotional, mental level, making sure your cup is filled first before giving to others. If you don't do that, you will drain yourself and you will fall back into old patterns and habits. So that has to be first. And then um, knowing that there's a destined shift coming here. Destined shift here. So you are being prepared for this as well. And then to begin creating 
with the divine. Creating with the divine through you. So once you get to that level of resonance and the divine can move through you to create realities. And that's what they're saying. They want you to focus on instead of getting pulled into the old realities. Okay. Let me just get a little more info on what this <clears throat> dense en energy is. And then I'm done here. There's some uh, conflict with others. Um, what I'm really feeling like this is we have the <clears throat> Emperor, Empress, Nine of Cups, and the Five of Swords. And what I'm really feeling with this is uh, you knowing your worth, your value, stepping into your power and reaching wish fulfillment of that. But there's this fear again of others, leaving others behind, maybe others being um, jealous or judgmental. And um, that's the only, that's the dense energy. It's that fear. And so uh, you don't need to worry about that. Let me get the guidance there on what to do with that five of swords energy. Stay focused on what you're working on and just keep moving forward. Don't, don't worry about it. It's like that, um, there's an I Ching, uh, hexagram that talks about this, but you just move forward. You don't look to your sides, what other people are doing. Don't, um, judge yourself based on what other people are doing or achieving or thinking. Just stay focused on what you're creating. Okay. Where, what you're creating, what you're doing. Uh, why you're doing it, uh, continue to give to yourself with that self-love and um, focus on moving forward there. And then we have these three recommend recommendations, uh, spirit body harmonization and core breath. This is great for the 60 body. This is a really, really amazing meditation. You could do it for hours and feel like a completely different person afterwards. Um, Zen breathing. This is physical spiritual mastery. So that is being recommended this week as well. And it's really about calming this internal chaos and confusion that you have. And then calming waves. The soundscape meditation was designed to activate the space of internal peace and harmonize that peace with a golden heart to lift the spirit and align the divine energies. Okay. So those are the three recommendations there. Um, so it's this internal conflict that needs to be resolved this week. Work on that, that harmonization, do the energy, uh, opal quantum healing session. You could do the 6D, uh, opal quantum healing session specifically do the 5D. If you're not a hundred percent sure what the 5D body looks like, and then the 6D to get that harmonized, aligned and anchored, and then know that the door behind you is closed. You can't go back there again. You need to move forward. Okay. That was helpful. See you next time.